Hey guys, welcome back for another kit review and today we're looking at Minicraft's 1 to 144 scale KC-135R. I must say it's a very small box, I built a lot of airlines in this scale before and um, I was expecting a little bit, a little bit bigger. Um, it's about the same size box as an Airbus A320 comes in but hey ho, we'll let's take a look inside the box and see exactly what we got. So here we go, the 1 to 144 scale KC-135R from the Minicraft. Now to note this is the all new tooling, so it's from about 2018. They do a couple other versions, but um, I think the panel line's a little bit deeper and not quite so nice. Um, I'm not, I just literally just took out this box real quick just to have a quick look at the size. Um, so the elephant in the room, the size of the box, it is a pretty small box. Here's a Revell A320 bigger and here's a Boeing 767 much bigger now it's my ignorance but I thought a KC-135 tanker which is I think a Boeing 707 was pretty big and I mean the Royal Air Force new Voyager tanker is A330s um, about 767 size so I did wonder did I get scale wrong because it's 1 to 200 scale? So I did a quick Google and I actually just looked at the fuselage and measured it and it is, it is accurate. It is, it is the scale. It's um, according to Google, um, the length of the real one, it works out in this scale about 11.3 inches and I just quickly measured the fuselage and it's just over 11 inches. So we're good. It's just, um, I just expected it to be a bigger aircraft than it was, I guess. So looking around the box, it is officially licensed by Boeing. Two markings. McConnell Air Force Base and Illinois National Guard. Just go around the box here. It's not a toy. And let's open it up. So we got player parts. First sprue. Looks like the horizontal stabilizers. We'll, we'll take a close look in a minute. Um, wings, but two parts for each. The fuselage. The engines, four engines. The decals. A kit questionnaire. It's a marketing bump. And obviously the instructions, which are black and white. Okay, looking at the instructions first. Looks like nice. I've not built a mini craft kit before or bought one. This is the first time I'm looking at one, but the instructions are very nicely laid out. So start with the nose gear and turn you at half an ounce of nose weight. So that goes in me, sandwich the two fuselage parts together. Then you add in the wings, the horizontal stabilizers, I need an angle for the horizontal stabilizers and the windshield screen. Next up are the engines, which are quite a few parts going into the engines. Then the main gear, which are four wheels on each. Ballast tank. Final main assembly. It actually tells you, like, I didn't notice, but it tells you what each section is too, which is extended landing gear, so you've got the landing gear down, or retracted. That uh, looks quite a nice detailed um, fueling boom too. Um, underwing drogue pods, so they're the pods underneath for the refueling. APU. And finally, the decals. So, McConnell Air Force Base. There's not too much here at all. And the Illinois National Guard. Looking here, the colors A, B, C, D. So, I'm guessing I missed my miss at the front here. That might be the colors at the front. Um, did I miss the colors? Okay, at the bottom here, I did miss them. It's um, 
in Model Masters, which isn't the most popular, but give, um, A is black, B actually the FSS color, which is good. It's the FS 36173. If you want to get a Model Master, gives a number. Aluminum and jet exhaust are the four colors. So, pretty straightforward. Yeah, let's take a look at the decals. Not really much to them, but they look pretty nice. Nicely printed, um, don't look too thick. And it looks like you have the windscreen too, so you can two options. You can either do it with the plastic, or you can do it more like the um, kind of like the, the like the travel agent kind of models that, where they have the actual have it like the black painted, rather than having like the plastic. There you go. Not too many at all. And let's get started. Plastic. So let's open the, this one first. And this is the main fuselage. And it's nicely molded. Some recessed and um, raised detail there on the door. Nice detail. Not really getting much flash. There's a little bit of flash on the um, on the sprue, but the actual kit plastic itself looks pretty nice. As I mentioned earlier, I measured it and it is about 11 inches long. So not huge. So what I'm going to do real wipe this out. Just for interest in comparing this with a couple of aircraft. This is an A320 in the same scale. Narrow body you know, regional airliner. Actually you should probably do it this way around. You can see it's just a little touch longer than Airbus A320. Um, pretty similar size. So if an A320 in your stash, just you're looking at very similar size to that. And let's pull out a 767. Way smaller than 767. Okay, going back to this. So that's, um, yeah, really nice sprue. Looks nice to detail. One thing I think is, I'm, I don't know, I'm not an expert on these aircraft, but I believe the, the nose shape might be slightly out if you're a river counter. Face hanger resin, do, I think it's $14, do a new front section with a real correct shaped nose. Um, if you want to go down that route and make it a little bit more accurate. Okay, next up is are the engines. Bag open. So it's a sprue, so it looks like we have the pods. Again, nicely detailed. Some engine components, the engine themselves. Very nice. So, really nicely detailed again, if you can make this out. It's on the camera. It's beautiful detail, very fine. Okay, and just give you an idea of size here. Wingspan for one wing is about five inches. So you're looking for, what, like 11 by 11-ish, by the time you've got the fuse larger on the stuff. So that's kind of size on this guy. And finally, I actually got a couple more bags open. The 
horizontal stabilizers. Well, really nice detail on that too. You can see that. And some of the small parts, a little flashy. Um, you see the flash there, oh, too close. It looks like around the gear here, um, it looks like the pieces themselves are okay. It's just kind of the attachment points are a little flashy. So just be careful where you cut. You don't cut the right wrong bit, I guess. This is the nose bay, nose wheel bay. Again, not really any detail in there, but this is, again, this is one to one, 40, 50, one to one, four, four scale. The wheels, the main wheels, not really much detail there either. Things the ballast tank, nose wheels, And this one piece looks like for the refueling boom. Okay, again, nice detail on the horizontal stabilizer. See there, just a little bit of a notch just needs to be um, cleaned up. And finally, the windscreen. Looks quite nice. So that is it. Um, not a ton of stuff. Now what I mentioned is here in the US these aren't very expensive compared to other places. The mini craft kits, um, I got this on Amazon, it was about $30, Amazon Prime. If you go and buy it in Europe, um, I think England and those kind of places, it's like three times the price. It's, 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 it's crazy how expensive it is. It doesn't export very well at all. So it looks really nice. You see the detail kit. The detail kit looks really nice. The fuselage and wings and everything. The landing gear and all that kind of stuff isn't that detailed. But again, it's one to one forty fourth scale. But what I'll say is, um, if you can get it for thirty dollar mark, I think it's not a bad little kit. I think it's going to build up nicely, a nice size. But if it's three times that price outside, you know, of places around the world, I'm not sure if it really warrants that price tag. But hey, that's up to you. But if you're looking for a KC one thirty five R, yeah, let's say new tooling um, one four seven zero eight is the kit number. And again, this is Richie from Marble Hobbies. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.